Hello, this is Carl Gallops of Freedom Friday with Carl Gallops, and this is a special Freedom Friday news report. As you are probably aware, yesterday, March 21st, 2014, the Alabama Supreme Court released its final decision on the hearing that it held concerning whether or not the state of Alabama had authority to investigate the eligibility of presidential candidates placed on its ballot. The basic ruling of the court, 7-2, to paraphrased by me, is that though perhaps the qualifications of the current man in the White House should be examined based upon the evidence brought before the court, the state of Alabama does not have the statutory authority to conduct such an investigation. There currently is no legal mechanism in place in the state of Alabama, and as far as I know, in any state in the United States, for a state alone to determine the qualifications and eligibility of a candidate for president who makes it to the state ballot through the certification process of one of the national parties. Now listen, Obama's eligibility attorneys have argued this very same argument before. In an eligibility case in the state of Florida brought by attorney Larry Clayman in 2012, Obama's attorneys actually argued that the states did not have the authority to determine the eligibility of a presidential candidate who made it on the state's ballot. There's an excerpt of a WND.com news story on the case that says this, quote, Obama's attorneys told the judge that other courts have decided that courts alone should not make such decisions and the process is better handled by Congress. They said state courts especially are not suited to make a decision on the eligibility of Obama. Now, please note this that even the Obama attorneys admit that Congress is the one that is constitutionally ordained to make such decisions of eligibility. This is exactly what I have been saying for five years. It's what Mike Zullo and Sheriff Arpaio have been saying for the last two years of their investigation. I've been proclaiming this fact for over five years on my radio program and in print at P.P. Simmons News Network. The Constitution gives Congress the official responsibility, as well as the authority, of course, of conducting such investigations of eligibility of presidential candidates or even people who are already in office. So far, several federal courts and state courts now, including Florida and Alabama, have backed up my position. Yet to date, not a single congressman has even begun the constitutional process to vet the qualifications of this president. And this is despite the fact that the Congressional Research Service issued in writing a declaration that Obama was never vetted by anyone. Now, let me address the upcoming news conference concerning the, quote, universe-shattering information that Sheriff Arpaio and Mike Zullo will bring forth in a criminal investigation and then finally the birth certificate investigation on Barack Obama. I want to make this very, very clear. I interviewed again yesterday Mike Zullo on my program, Freedom Friday with Carl Gallops, 1330 WEBY. I interviewed him for 30 minutes. We talked about the Alabama Supreme Court case, and we talked about the upcoming news conference. Folks, let me be very clear about this. I don't remember the exact date, but it was sometime last year when Mike Zullo released a statement to WND.com and to P.P. Simmons News Network. I think it was on the very same day. He released a statement, and this was last year, that this criminal investigation was solid, it was ongoing, new evidence was coming in, and they were shooting for a March release date of the news conference, a March 2014 release date. In fact, Mike Zullo said somewhere near the last of March. But it was very clear from the context of that conversation and subsequent statements afterwards that the March release date of this news conference was a target date. It was not a promised set-in-stone date. It was a target date made many, many months ago. Now that we are very close to that date, Mike Zullo said again yesterday that that still is the target time. However, he believes that now, in light of legal wranglings and more information that has come in and the continued vetting of that information and the case building still solid, that in light of all of that, as well as other very important factors, that this news conference could be put off until April, or maybe even May. Now, Mike Zullo has been saying this for the last several months. So again, there has been no solid promise of a specific date in March. That, 
estimated date was given to P.P. Simmons and WND last year. Now we're here, and it's still going to happen. Mike Zulo promised yesterday on the radio, this news conference is going to happen, and it's going to happen soon, probably within weeks or a few months, which is only seven or eight weeks. So, folks, please be patient. I have people saying to me all the time on blogs and and, uh, P.P. Simmons Facebook and and through the Freedom Friday email uh, demanding that I insist that Arpaio and Zulo, quote, release the information. Well, first of all, let me just tell you, I'm a pastor and I'm an author and I am a talk radio host. I used to be in law enforcement. I used to be a deputy sheriff, Uh, but I have no authority over Sheriff Arpaio or Mike Zulo. I am simply friends with them, and I am serving as a source of information release for them. I would not even presume to even hint to demand that they come up with a news conference at the snapping of my fingers. Let me remind you, if it were not for Sheriff Arpaio and Mike Zulo, you would know nothing, and you would never know anything. Please tell me, who else would you depend upon to investigate Obama in the birth certificate case and or in these criminal allegation cases? Who else? Would it be Eric Holder? What has he done? Would it be Congress? What have they done? What has even a single congressman done in this? Nothing. Would it be the FBI? What have they done? Nothing. Would it be the federal courts? What have they done? Nothing. Would it be the Supreme Court? What have they done? Zero. It's Sheriff Arpaio, Mike Zulo and the investigators that are employed by Arpaio to get this done that are doing something about it. So folks, be patient. Pray for them. Trust them. Be patient with them. They are the people who are on the front line in this. They have promised us over and over. Mike Zulo is not stupid. He would not go on radio to a national and even an international audience that is podcasted and claim that there's going to be a release when there's not going to be a release. He would not do such a thing. So folks, it is coming. You're going to have to be patient, and you're going to have to let Arpaio and Zulo do what they are doing. So this is my update. I wanted to give you this information to keep you posted and updated on the very latest. Thank you for listening. God bless you.